Hey, Helen, want to play a game? Do you even have to ask? Of course I want to play a game. Okay, this game is called I Dare You Not to Laugh. And the point of the game is to try to think of funny things to make the other person laugh. And if you're able to keep a straight face without laughing, then you win. Oh, this sounds fun. All right, I'll go first. Let's see if you can withstand the silliness. I dare you not to laugh. I challenge you not to giggle. Do you think you can be serious? No smiling, not even a little. I dare you not to chuckle. Ho, ho, he, he, ha, ha. Look at this funny giraffe. I dare you not to laugh. Oh, you'll never get me to laugh, Chucky. I'm completely serious. Oh, yeah? How about a uh, platypus wearing a tutu? This pickle high five and a horse. An elephant riding a surfboard. This bumblebee eating s'mores. A kitty cat getting a haircut. This pig taking a bath. A monkey doing a cartwheel. I dare you not to laugh. <laughs> okay, you got me. I guess I lost that round. But let's see if you can resist my ridiculous hilarity. Bring it on, Helen. I got my giggles out. I'm in serious mode now. I dare you not to laugh. I challenge you not to giggle. Do you think you can be serious? No smiling, not even a little. I dare you not to chuckle. Ho, ho, hee, hee, ha, ha. A donkey making a crap. I dare you not to laugh. I'm ready. You'll get no laughs from me. Oh, yeah? What about a hedgehog doing his taxes? This lion reading a book. A gerbil teaching an art class. This frog dressed like a cook. A dolphin learning to skateboard. This merman shopping for shoes. A haircut but only half. I dare you not to laugh. <laughs> okay, okay. You got me with the half haircut. <laughs> I guess we're tied. What do you say we do a lightning round, huh? Oh, you're on, Chucky. A zebra playing the guitar. This panda singing the blues. A goldfish performing Shakespeare. This wiener dog reading the news. Today in the news. <laughs> An alligator ordering pizza. Go <laughs> uh, anchovies. This meerkat riding a bike. <laughs> <laughs> a camel mowing the lawn. <laughs> this hippo flying a kite. I am a hippo. <laughs> I am flying a kite. I dare you not to laugh. I, I challenge you not to giggle. Do you <laughs> think you can be serious? No smiling, not even a little. I dare, <laughs> I dare you not to chuckle. Oh, oh, hee hee, ha ha. What else rhymes with laugh? <laughs> um, no, seriously. What else rhymes with laugh? I, uh, I think we've used up all of our rhymes. Yeah, we have. A meowing calf? Really? Hmm. Here, let me help. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now that's, that's funny. funny. <laughs> I dare you not to laugh. I dare you not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we both lose. <laughs> yeah, or we both win. <laughs> you were right, Jasper. This old-fashioned cattle drive is just what I needed to get a new perspective. Being out here in the wide open spaces, living the cowboy's life, it sure is fun. Thanks for bringing me along. No problem, Chucky. It's great to have you along. Oh, I love to be a cowboy. I'm at home out on the range. I can rope and ride and sleep outside. It's a life I'd never change. We can harmonize beneath big skies where a mouse can feel so free. I can think of nothing better, better than a cowboy's life for me. yippee ki yo and yippee ki -yay. I'm an old cow hen, come what may. I'll never waver and I'll never stray. It's a cowboy's life for me. Oh, I love to be a cowgirl. Yes, it's the life for me. In my big old boots and my ten gallon hat, I'm as tough as I can. I'm smart and slick with a lasso trick, the best you ever saw. And with crayons in my holster, holster, 
I'm the quickest on the draw. Yippee-ki-yay, yo, hey, yippee-ki-yay. I'm an old cowhand, come what may. I'll never waver and I'll never stray. It's a cowboy's life for me. It's a cowgirl's life for me. Right. Cowboys and cowgirls, all out here in the Wild West. Isn't this fun? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Pasquale? Uh-oh. Oh, I love to be a cowboy. Nothing I would be instead. With my feather bow and my oven mitts and a flower pot on my head. I play with dolls, I walk on stilts, I wear a yellow shawl. And I look so fine on a porcupine as I ride him to the mall. yippee ki yo and yippee ki yay I'm an old cow hand, come what may. I'll never waver and I'll never stray. It's a cowboy's life for me. Uh, Pasquale? Do you know what a cowboy does? Do I know what a cowboy does? <laughs> of course! I can guarantee you he does not. As a cowboy, I grant wishes with my sparkling magic wand. What? And I hop about with my cotton tail and I hide eggs on your lawn. Pasquale! Birds nest in my branches. In the fall, I lose my leaves. Uh. And I drink water with my big long draw. Wait, wait, wait. Stop the music. Pasquale, that's ridiculous! What do you mean, Chucky? What do I mean? Look at your outfit. You've got oven mitts on and a flower pot on your head. You're holding a wand and you've got a big trunk on your nose. It's a cowboy song, Pasquale. Excuse me, Mouse. Hey, Pasquale, come on. We're late for the cowboy convention. Hey, Mouse, that's a silly outfit. What are you supposed to be? Um, I... I have no idea. Well, good luck with that. Let's go, guys. yippee ki yo and yippee ki yay I'm an old cow hand, come what may. I'll never waver and I'll never stray. It's a cowboy's life for me. Uh, I need to lie down. It's time for some jokes, some jokes from Pasquale. It's time for some jokes, some jokes from Pasquale, some jokes from Pasquale. Hi everyone, it's time once again for some cheesy jokes from Pasquale. And Ronnie! Oh, and Ronnie too. <laughs> okay, well, take it away guys. Hello, <laughs> hello, it's so good to be back here to tell some more ha-ha hilarious jokes. And it is such an honor to be here to show everyone my mastery of the comedic arts. <laughs> yes, it's been a while since I've had someone to tell jokes with. Jasper runs the other way whenever he sees me with a microphone. Oh, not me, Mr. Mustache. I love jokes. You know, I was a headlining act back in my magical dimension. Well, I'm so excited to have you here, Ronnie, that I'm going to call this Jokes from Pask Ronnie. <laughs> well, pretty good, Chef Man, but it doesn't quite roll off the tongue. Mm -hmm. <gasps> How about a sophisticated evening of humor with Ronaldo Sagittarian? <laughs> uh, oh, uh, and also Pasquale is there too. Yeah, well, on second thought, uh, why mess with a classic? <laughs> now, how about we tell some jokes? Ooh, yeah. What do you call a cyclone that puts you to sleep? Um, a sleepy cyclone, yes. <laughs> Let me finish. You call it a bornado. <laughs> you get it, Ronnie? A bornado. <laughs> it's so, oh, so boring. <sighs> well, back in my dimension, they would have loved Sleepy Cyclone. But that's not a joke. Well, I beg to disagree, Squally. Say, how about I tell you a lovely little laugh-a-roo for my act? Sure. Let's hear it, Ronnie. Okay. <laughs> knock, knock. Oh, I love these. <laughs> yeah. uh, who's there? Don't come in. I'm busy. Um, 
Don't come in, I'm busy who? No, really, I'm busy. Go away. Oh, wait a minute. I'm confused. If you're in the house, why were you knocking? <laughs> well, that's the joke, my good man. Uh, you know, you just might get this comedy thing after all. I, I don't, I, I, I don't even understand. Uh, okay, how about this one? What startles birds and never blinks? Oh, um, hmm. Oh, I got it. A staircrow. <laughs> Not a scarecrow, but a staircrow. <laughs> That's very good, Ronnie. Huh? No. I was going to say my old neighbor, Monica. Wow. You couldn't have been more wrong. <laughs> Monica was so funny. Ah, uh, how is that a joke? Well, Monica never blinks, so, you know, it, it's funny. Oh, wow. <laughs> Would you look at the time? <laughs> yeah, I've got band rehearsal to make, and I'm sure you've got somewhere to be. Well, let me know next time you need an excellent comedian to join you. Now I know how Jasper feels. <laughs> yeah. from the toilet? Did you know that water buffalo are called water buffalo because they spend most of their time submerged in water? Their hooves even have a special shape to prevent them from sinking into the thick mud of river bottoms and swamps. And everybody knows that water buffalo love drinking water. <laughs> Yeah, uh, could I get a juice box? Hey, Munch, what you doing? Well, hey, Chucky, I'm just thinking about everything that I've learned here since I've been here on Earth. Oh, yeah. I sometimes forget that you're from the planet Purple. So many things must be different for you here. Yeah. So, uh, w what are some of the things that you've learned? Well, Chuck, things like this. The Great Wall of China was built many years ago. Yeah. And did you know that it's made of a million marshmallows? Uh... You can see it clearly from out and outer space. Okay. Roast it, bake some more, and it would feed the human race. China is a place on Earth with lots of stuff to see. All animals and places, but no creatures quite like me. So many things that I have learned about the Earth so true. From Mr. Munch to you, a planet purple point of view. Munch, I think you might be confused. Uh, although I am sure it's true that you can see the Great Wall of China from outer space. Um, it's not made of marshmallows. Not made of marshmallows? No. It's made of stone. Made of stone. Well, what do you know? I'm still learning new things every day. <laughs> hey, Chucky, do you want to hear something else I've learned? Why, sure. 
Hawaii are the islands in the ocean Pacific. Right. Made from lava monsters that are so horrific. Uh, I don't think... Hawaii's got big waves and lots of surfing guys. Lava monsters and the surfers, they invented apple pies. Uh, Hawaii has some islands with lots of stuff to see. People, animals, and places, but no creatures quite like me. So many things that I have learned about the Earth, so true. From Mr. Munch to you, a planet purple point of view. So, Munch, again, I think you might have a few of your facts wrong. What do you mean, Chucky? Well, you are right about there being surfers in Hawaii. Right? But there are no lava monsters. And I'm pretty sure apple pies were not invented by monsters or even surfers. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, pretty sure. Lava monsters in Hawaii? I wonder who invented apple pies. Oh well! Penguins are cute birds that are not able to fly. True. They come from another dimension and like to eat french fries. False. Penguins like cold weather and they can swim really fast. Swim 88 miles per hour and time travel to the past. <laughs> nope. Earth is a real big planet with lots of stuff to see. People, animals, and places, but no creatures quite like me. So many things that I have learned about the Earth, so true. From Mr. Munch to you, a planet purple point of view. Oh, Munch. Okay, what did I get wrong this time? Well, penguins are birds that cannot fly, and they do like cold weather. Uh-huh. But they don't come from another dimension, they don't eat french fries, and they definitely do not time travel if they swim 88 miles per hour. Oh, well, I guess I still have a lot to learn about Earth. That's okay, Munch. We all do. There is so much to learn about this planet that we all live on. Nobody can know everything. So you don't need to feel bad. How about I buy you a pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Come on, buddy. Uh, do you really have to buy the pizza? I mean, it is your place. Well, yeah, I but I do get a discount. Oh, good. All that time traveling has made me hungry. I wonder if they have any french fries here. Chuck E. Cheese presents Tales of Friendship with Jasper T. Jowls. Hi, everybody. Jasper here. Who boy. Just wait till you hear my tale today. Oh, I've heard your tale. It goes whoosh, 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 whoosh. But that's only when you're really happy. <laughs> I am really starting to regret what we named this segment. Anyway, today's story really illustrates how friends help each other out when they're in a jam. It all started when Chucky and I were backstage rehearsing. It seemed like we'd been rehearsing for hours when Chucky said, it seems like we've been rehearsing for hours. Let's take a break. I agreed and set my bass on the floor against a chair when suddenly it fell. I picked it up to find that a tuning peg had snapped clean off. Always use instrument stands, folks. I said, oh no, we have to play a show tonight. What am I gonna do? And Chuck said, don't worry, Jasper, I have some tools and glue and pink frosted donuts. Wait, how is a donut going to fix your base? No, that's not part of the story. That's just Ronnie. Who wants to share in the sweet goodness? Oh, me, me, me! Uh, not right now, Ronnie. I'm in the middle of telling a story about how friends help each other. Ooh, I love stories. Continue, my furry friend. Okay, where was I? Um, Chuck had a donut. No, wait. That's not right, um... Oh, goody! This is one of those flashbacky things. Let me try. Uh, Jasper suddenly fell out of his chair. And then Chucky said, Blah, 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 I'm a mouse. Hi, hi, hi. Blip, blip, blip. <laughs> and look at his mouth move. Too funny. Blip, 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 blip. Will you stop that? <gasps> I'm trying to tell a story about friends helping each other. 
Oh, goodness. Uh, I didn't realize that your story was so upsetting to you. Uh, uh, I'm intrigued. Please continue, my fuzzy little pup. So, where was I? Oh, uh, you had just fallen out of your chair. <laughs> Were you hurt? No. Oh, good. No, I mean, oh, never mind. Chuck said, just let me go get my tools and I'll fix your base in half a jiff. So then I said, A five, six, a five, six, seven, eight. Jasper, I didn't know you could tap dance. I can't tap dance. Ronnie! What? Oh, uh, I'm listening. Uh, a great story. It's got everything. Thrills, mystery, romance. No! It's a simple story about friends helping each other. Uh, I'm confused. What happened to Chucky's Donut? Uh-oh, friend. Looks like you're losing your audience. Let me help you out. What? So then... Wait, what's happening? Jasper stopped dancing, and Chuck fixed Jasper's trumpet. Uh, Jasper said, thanks, old bean, and Chuck said, you're welcome, I'm a little mouse. When suddenly, the mad scientist, Dr. Destructenheimer, ran in with his singularity device and shouted, And now to destroy the universe! <laughs> Just then, Ronnie flew in, and using his sparkle rainbow powers, he grabbed the device, flew into space, and threw it into the sun, saving the universe! And that's how Ronnie helped his good friend Jasper tell a story. <laughs> the end. Wow! What a terrific story all about friends helping friends. This might be my favorite story of yours ever, Jasper! Gee, thanks. Who's a good boy? What I do, splashing in the cool water that is so blue. But today when I went out to my pool for a dip, I got a big surprise, yo, it was a trip. The pigs in my pool where I'm supposed to be, but it's so full of swine, there's no room for me. This just won't do. Things have gone awry. My backyard pool is turned into a pigsty. There's too many pigs in the pool. There's too many pigs in the pool. It's like a bad joke that is so cruel. There's too many pigs in the pool. Dr. D. My mad scientist neighbor, I think he might be involved with this silly summer caper. So I went to his house and I asked him to his face, What do you know about the pigs at my place? I got a pet pig to keep me company, and she must have gotten out into my cloning machine. I don't know when it happened, I don't know how, but now your swimming pool is filled with several sounds. There's too many pigs in the pool. There's too many pigs in the pool. I can't go swimming because my pool's become a zoo. There's too many pigs in the pool. Dr. D and I went in for an up close look to see these pigs. And what we saw left the shook. It was a happy pig, a sad pig, a mad pig, a god pig, a dancing pig, a jumping pig, a good pig, a bad pig. Every single pig was unique and not the same. Each looked different and had its own name. One thing in common that they seem to want to do is go swimming in my pool. There's no room for me or you. There's too many pigs in the pool. There's too many pigs in the pool. So many pigs, I don't know what to do. There's too many pigs in the pool. I knew just what to do. Let's clone your pool so you can have two. That's a great solution. Thanks, Dr. D. Now we can swim too at the pig pool party. There's too many pigs in the pool. There's too many pigs in the pool. 